Welcome to our data visualization tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many data enthusiasts encounter. Our viewer is curious about how to apply a seaborn heat map column-wise on a pandas data frame. They've successfully created a heat map for the entire data frame, but they want to know how to format each column individually, similar to conditional formatting in spreadsheets. Let's dive into the details and find a solution together. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To apply a heat map column-wise on a pandas data frame, we first need to understand how to manipulate our data. Let's start by creating a sample data frame. Now that we have our data frame, we can visualize it using Seaborn's heat map function. However, we want to apply the heat map column wise, not on the entire data frame. To achieve column wise formatting, we will normalize each column separately. This means we will scale the values in each column to a range between 0 and 1. After normalizing, we can apply the heat map to the normalized data frame. This will allow us to visualize each column independently. Finally, let's display the heat map. Each column will now reflect its own minimum and maximum values, achieving the desired conditional formatting. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create a column-wise heat map in Seaborn, you can scale each column to a range of 0 to 1. Then you can annotate the heat map with the original values. It's a good idea to remove the color bar since each column has different scales. Alternatively, you can use Sklern's min-max scale for scaling. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this response, the user shares a function for applying a column-wise conditional format to a pandas data frame using a seaborn heat map. The function colors the columns in shades of red by default. The function creates a mask for each column, allowing for the application of the color map. It also displays the values in the heat map cells. Finally, the function concludes by showing the heat map with plt.show. This approach can be useful for visualizing data in a more informative way. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.